we are down to the final four in the Anarchy Team Tournament. And in this first match, we have Juan and John and the potential third brother of Moron, Devon, uh, Le'Veon, or Engelbert Humperdinck, uh, also known as the Harris Brothers, taking on the odd couple of Jeff Snyder, Mark Andreco, uh, Moron, Devon, Le'Veon, and uh, Engelbert Humperdinck. That's an odd couple. Come on now, give me some credit there. None? Oh, okay. So, uh, the winner of this gets to go on to the finals of the Anarchy Team Tournament to potentially take on the Shire Wolves at the Schmodown Spectacular 3. Let's find out who will move on to that championship match, to the championship match, today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is your Yes, I'm wearing a Dr. Pepper shirt while drinking a Pepsi. I like to live dangerously. Okay, so now that everybody thinks I just wore a Dr. Pepper shirt so I could pull out an Austin Powers joke, A, what difference does it make, and B, you're right. So, let's move on to the match, shall we? Uh, Jeff Snyder, Mark Andreco versus the Harris Brothers. Um, I gotta say, um, Jonathan Harris might have had the best debut in terms of playing the character that he was meant to play, probably since William Bibiani. I mean, he played uh, that character next to Lon so well, you, you almost don't even think it's even a character. I mean, he just, they both looked so fluid in playing, you know, that, that tandem. Uh, it's just, it's just so funny to see them, you know, you know, work like that. Especially with someone like John, who has probably not even had any kind of experience in the uh, the Schmodown atmosphere. Obviously, he's done movie fights a couple times, or TV fights, I should say. But uh, as far as the Schmodown goes, I don't think he's ever had that, you know, playing a persona, you know, ability. that he Or having that chance to play a persona. Um, Juan has always been doing it for a, a good long while, and I've always been a fan of uh, what he's been doing. And Draco and Snyder have also uh, played their role of the odd couple duo uh, very well. So now the question remains, who do I think is a better fit to potentially go into the championship match? Well, as much as I would like to see Mark and Jeff uh, move on, I would like to see this Harris Brothers team uh, go as far as they possibly can. Um, I just have liked the chemistry. Because we got one less match of them, I would like to see them, you know, get that potential extra match. So if they go to the finals, they get, you know, three chances to see what they can do. Whereas we've already gotten three opportunities to see uh, Mark and Jeff's game. So uh, just for the sake of uh, possible entertainment, yeah, I like to see uh, John and Lon uh, get to the championship match just so we can see three uh, opportunities to see uh, their characters uh, fulfilled. So. I guess just for the hell of it, I'll take the Harris Brothers, although I'm uh, fully expecting this to be <coughs> a quite fun, competitive match, the way that uh, they played up uh, this encounter in the uh, the post-match interviews uh, last time that John and Lon played. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this in three, as I put my Pepsi down, wearing the Dr. Pepper shirt, in three, two, and one. Oh, hello, cow mo dog or schmoo dog as I've been saying. Riley, I don't think you type that fast. I'm calling you out on that. A hell of a lot of accusations. And somebody... It's Bobby Finstock. No. Want to feast your eyes on something here? Accusations, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, like, uh, you're a criminal? Like that kind of accusation? Well, or? yeah, but I mean, it's not about me. Oh? I got something that's gonna knock your socks off here. You, it's always about you. Two can play it. Bobby. Now. Right? Lay it on me. 
Let's first liberty. Do I think liberty, 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 liberty. It looks exactly like the guy. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. It does. Wow, so it's not Ben. I told you it wasn't. And he told you it wasn't. I'll say, you're good for something, Finstock. How did you get that footage? <sighs> I am your favorite shady person's favorite shady person. That's why. But always remember that. Now have a good day. Didn't answer my question. But all right. Hmm. Mark, are you getting gullible now? And do 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 Snyder? And Andraco were in the lion's den together for oh, about a year, and then you had that Emma fight. And then they broke apart, and then they're back together, and soon they may break apart. So, who the hell knows? Has been a, a little bit of a job for me, but I think we're doing well. We've got a mutual respect, right, boys? Sure. Yes. And your winner. Um. Drink Pepsi, get stuff. I accept your challenge. Draco and I are not looking past the task at hand. Where's my stuff? Down Atchity and Duraldi. I think uh, I think that they're a good team. Oh, I just think we're here. It is. One. Sam Mendes. Works. Drink Pepsi, get stuff. Oh, that made me so sad. Damn you, Freddy Krueger! New bromance, I feel like stirring here. Yeah, I mean, I said, I said backstage, you know, if, if we if we make it through to the end and we win, we should stay a team and maybe even not. A little evil is uh, done for the year due to an accident. Uh, uh, uh Frankie Stats Janish sighting. Probably the only time we'll see him today. Sadly. Brothers, evil geniuses of JTE and Lon Harris are going to take this whole thing. Well, that got thrown out the window when Boom. JTE got himself it, on one four of those and a half inch pythons. Reaches out and gets his brother, another professor, to go that, ahead. That that was not the fast. phone call to call to John. By, Come on now. A poet, he was a looking for Copster. A great man, my own brother, visiting professor Jonathan Harris. Thank you. I've been uh, taking a sabbatical of several months, and I thought I would come by and help you in your little trivia game. Little Mark. trivia game. And your winners! Advancing and they beat the cannoli. They, 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 beat, they beat it to a pulp. Stomped it flat. Oh, there's the thing for measuring penis length. I've heard of the Cohen brothers. Heard of the sisters brothers, but who are the Harris brothers? I mean, J John, Lon, who's the third one? Moron? Dubon. Uh, a, a worthy dig. Is this a prop from some sort of Michael Bay film where he is measuring penis length? I don't know. Uh, are you guys professors at the University of Phoenix? John, you impressed me today. You played very well. But Lon, you wouldn't even be here if JT hadn't gotten injured. How, who knows how many words he would have mispronounced today? You're, you're very you're, lucky. Your former teammate in uh, nationalism, JT. I'm, I'm sure yes, to hear that's the one thing I think was making a lot of people sad is that we would have had the Snyder J uh, JTE encounter, and um. Who the funny nope. Sorry. Didn't see you flip me off. Take that, Mike. Odd couple indeed. I can do that too, Jeff. In the world of Mills Lane, let's get it on. It's up. Uh, hello, Ken, and hello, Johnny, who apparently is on a uh, concealed weapon. Add I don't know math much, but <laughs> someone showed on the me, Facebook you know, page. As much as Still not sure what to think about that. And apparently is also in a Burger King commercial. 
right now you're looking sharp. Johnny, you're looking famous. Old, but I'll tell you what, this tournament has <coughs> you're been too exciting. There's famous. Things, and that's what you get when you insert some anarchy into your normal routine. And as sure as I know you're wearing I'm a sure knockoff, a bowl of oatmeal can jacket, do that too. I'm sure this match today is going to be absolutely incredible, Ken. You're sure about that? I'm absolutely I'm certain of it. Very maybe. sure about that. We have the Hopefully. odd couple. We have the Probably. Harris brothers. And Doubtful. I'll start with the Harris brothers. No. Because this was a team comprised initially of the Professor Lon Harris and JTE famed Ecuadorian film movie reviewer and technical director. Uh, but an injury, yeah. an injury took JT out of the tournament. And that's the first time this has ever happened. Happen unless you count like John Roca and into Jeff. You can't but make this JTE, shit up. Uh, it's it's a pure wrestling do, war. Is the, could the professor take everyone on himself? I actually think he could, but then he won but up. Now no one believes it. And brings in wrestling and we used to fake hurt people, and everyone believed it. Brother and now people are really crippling each other, Harris, and no one believes it. And blood conquer the odd couple because you look at Jeff Snyder and you look at Mark Andreco those are two egos I don't even think can fit in the Schmodown arena it's going to be incredible uh, two egos I think there's like one ego and just a real nice guy and they're just mashed together uh, but that's what this tournament yeah. is about all these odd egos coming indeed. together this is an apt named team uh, or is it like apt a Venus fly trap of ego. I don't know but um, it, it, you put these guys I would they never would have teamed up they never although the saying is true and I do believe it uh, in order to be great, you have to have an ego. They have someone in their corner. Absolutely. Well, I've Patrick always Schreier, believed that. Someone who's very which is why I'm one of the most not motivating, any good. Positive individuals I've ever I in don't my life. have an that, ego. If the team does get stressed I just out, has am funny. Opportunities to hook up because if you're not good at anything, Calm at least be funny. Down. Roxy's great. Sometimes she talks too much. Sometimes she's in the corner just screaming. You know, but I, 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 I have a long history with Roxy, too. I, I used to work with her on air. I know what she brings. I know the encouragement she brings, and she is certainly a secret weapon to this team. Uh, they, though, have done more talking than we have, Johnny. We got some promos from the teams. Let's see it now. What have I been telling you guys about the odd couple? They might be odd, but again, there's a reason that that show was on for so many years, because it just works. It does not matter who's in our way. We're gonna take them down. Ah, uh, yes, welcome again, students. Last week, I noticed many of you doubting the professor, doubting that academics could come in and conquer the Schmodown. I, I think we've more than proven ourselves at this point, just as we had always predicted, just as I included in my original syllabus. This run has been has been completely unexpected in the best possible way, I think. I, I think I said this last time after our last match against Duralde and Adichie, that it fe I felt that was the best match I've ever played as far as strategy, and I felt like Jeff and I had a real rapport going on and trusted each other and listened to each other, and it was technique that won that game, not necessarily knowledge. That's, that's the important part. Many of you failed in the midterms, but will you be able to handle when we are in the finals? Finals week brings the most pressure. I hope you are up to the challenge. It's important to prepare before the finals, and I certainly hope that our new opponents, Mr. Snyder and Mr. Andreco, have prepared. I know these are former champions. I'm familiar with their curriculums vitae. Last game against Ashley and Duraldi, we needed a buzzer beater. Okay? <coughs> it's not going to come down to the buzzer for this one. We're going to try to take him out by the end of round two. Get that TKO, TKO the KO, whatever you want to call it. I don't care if it's JTE, Lon's brother, doesn't matter. It would have been nice to, to have, have beaten JTE, don't get me wrong. But I'll settle for kicking the ass of this Harris brother. Andreco sounds somewhat European, so I will give him a point for that. <laughs> Snyder reminds me of Zack Snyder, a filmmaker I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> His work you don't know at all. I uh, am unfamiliar with him. I just know I don't like him. Uh, I, I believe Sucker Punch in a survey course of the downfall of American cinema, it might make it into a future so. Ooh, I would take that course. Mm, yeah, it's fascinating. Lon, John, super nice guys, but you're not teaching anyone a lesson today. We're the ones who are going to teach you guys a lesson. And we're taking you down. Class is in session. You're getting an F. You've got an F. All right, Pit Boss. Very I don't even remember what that commercial was from. Was like a, I think it was a Volkswagen commercial. Finals of Tag Team Anarchy to take on the winner of Corruption and Riley and Bateman. So, in other words, you're saying 
to go on and face corruption because uh, Kalinowski and Chance, you know, uh, that's a whole other thing. We, we Kalinowski and I, I never thought we'd be working together, but Chance, fate, literally has brought us together. We're going to take this thing. It's going to be fun for the rest of the team to try. And actually, Kalinowski is why I'm wearing insect repellent to make sure that arachnid can't go near me to kick me off a of commentary right now. Sure, that sounds like an insult, but uh, we'll uh, move on here to the tail of the tape. These two teams, the odd couple. Tell the uh, tale, well, tell the tale. Boom, time boom. And time again, they know a lot Leaving in life after love, after love, after love, after love. And over, and over, and over, and over, and over, and over. Especially DC. Marshawn Lynch interview. You can read that right now. And of course, I asked Draco, what are your strengths? And he said, believing in life after love, after love, after love, after love. The Harris brothers. And a win is a win is a win is a win is a win. So it's about the same animated, thing. Enlightening the masses. They, they are the two Damien Sandows. The world about which is fitting because I used to use his theme for my I'm intro. Uh, many, uh, <laughs> many, 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 many moons ago. That's their loss. Their tape. That's their All loss. right. Well, <coughs> the tail of the tape. The promo's out of the way. I think it's time we get to the match. What do you say, Absolutely, Ken. Take us away. Then it's time for the movie, movie trivia showdown. Three rounds to finish. Intro. Ha! Beat you to it. Oh, how are they not the favorites? I'm sorry, but they should be the favorites. Just my opinion. Just because of the theme. They have the favorite theme. You have a theme like that, you're clearly the favorites. Yeah, I've got the, the marker over. I don't, I don't want to add drink more to my shirt because that wouldn't be good. Drink responsibly. He's got lawns, got the pipe. Jonathan looks like he's halfway through a novel in that sweater. This looks great. When you look at these brothers, you think of other great brothers in history. You know, the Cohen brothers, maybe Cain and Abel, or possibly Macho Man Randy Savage and Leaping Lanny Pop. Or uh, Blue and Eagle. I have uh, mentioned Macho Man Randy Savage. All right. And. They didn't come after the Macho Man theme. So disappointed. Led to the rig by their manager, Roxy the Prince. That's probably another reason why I want them to win. I want to see if they actually <coughs> if they actually come out to it. What? Oh my god! Snyder, you look JTA juggler. Indeed, Jeff Snyder attempting to make history here, Ken, trying to become the first. That is JTH levels of ugly right there. Absolutely, that would be mother of goat. Feet here, all right. We are about to be mother of good. We have the whiteboards in front of you. A little reminder of the rules for all these players, so they have played before. But for those watching at home and those maybe watching the Schmodown, Schmodown for the very first time, the rules are this in the round one. You'll have whiteboards, you have pens. You can write down your answers you have in white a boards, short amount you have of time. Pens, about 15 write them seconds. down. I get that joke no Jane time. Fondas. Don't worry about that. You have three chances then erase them and to do it again. This is eight J times over. Rule named in his honor because he used to employ it as a dirty tactic. Give ah, me some power, eight questions please. In this first round. Uh, you, uh, if you get all <coughs> the answers right, you'll get a bonus. <coughs> Man, uh, so that Johnny, I could ever get rid of this freaking call. Nice. That would be right. wonderful. Do you understand laws? I understand all the rules. Android. Yes, sir. Jonathan. Indeed. Muppet. <laughs> I just got that. Do you have another chair, though, so I can uh, have my ego sit next to me? Uh, we are out of are chairs you that a large. Man. Are you ready? Or are you a Muppet? Are you a Muppet? Yay! If you're a Muppet, then you're a very manly Muppet. Very manly right, Muppet. First question in round one out of eight comes in the category of fantasy slash slash sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the lead in the 2006 sci-fi thriller Children of Men? Mm. Um, I still one of those uh, adult children, Johnny. I buy Funko Pop T-shirts, so I don't know. If Never even heard this movie. Question. I've seen your better than feeling. We'll say a name. 
a wrong name. Four, three, two, Let's say Christian one. Bale. All right, pens down, looking for answers. Start with Lawn. I believe it is esteemed British actor Clive Owen. That is right. Mm. Mark Andrico. I lost it. <laughs> oh, did not have it, Mike. Jonathan. It is Clive Owen. Clive Owen, up two nothing. I went by his real name, Clive Owen. I, that is correct, no matter how you said it there. All <laughs> right, 2-1 after uh, the first question. Let's see this last one. Here we go. This is under the category of animated. What animated film franchise stars the voice talents of Kevin James, Andy Samberg, Selena Gomez, and Adam Sandler? Talents, Kevin James in the same sentence. I was interested there. In five, <laughs> four, three, two. Hotel Transylvania. Heads down, look for answers. Start with Andrico. Hotel Transylvania. That is correct. Oh, oh, it, I believed uh, it was from where I uh, first spent a summer. Matt oh, oh. Right oh. But oh. Place to stay, Mr. Snyder. Hotel Transylvania. All right, odd couple takes the lead. <laughs> Since we've clearly already moved straight to Juvenalia, it is Hotel Transylvania. All right, the brothers have time. Third question. Third I did question. not even know Kevin James was in that many shows. Drama. Shows how much I care. Will Smith stars with Matt Damon in what sports drama? You know, I will say this. Yeah, I will defend Will Smith's rap lyrics drama. in the late 80s. Partial to DJ Jazzy Jeff, but all right, you have your five. In five, four, three, two, and Ollie? one. Pens down. Look for answers. Start with Jonathan. This sounds problematic, but I believe it's the Legend of Bagger Vance. That is correct, oh. sir. Jeff. The Legend of Bagger Vance. Hey, oh. got it. He was uh, playing around with it. Lon? It is the problematic Legend of Bagger Vance. All right, up by four. So problematic. Oh, Legend of Bagger Vance. Oh, here we go. We got a tie game. They got the tie joke. Game. I obviously did not. Five all moving on to the category of comedies. Who played the female lead, Andy Anderson, in How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days? I beat that record by nine days. Oh, yeah. I've so, seen that happen yeah. before. And, you know, it's not always you. Sometimes it's her. Sometimes, most of the time, it's me. Most of the time, it's you. That's <laughs> true. That's a good point. Uh, looking for answers here in five, four, three, two, and one. Pens are down. Starting with Jeff. Kate Hudson? That is correct. No, no. I as well had Kate Hudson. I gave Mr. I'm Greco. wearing some of her Fabletics right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Hudson? I was going to say something. Jonathan? The answer is Kate Hudson. All right. We got a tie game. 7-7, seven, seven, Mr. Requasto. All right, fifth question. Fifth question comes in the category of action slash adventure. Action adventure. In The Princess Bride, what does R-O-U-S stand for? Oh, crap. Ooh. You know, I, uh, I once had oysters with uh, Peter Falk. Get out of here. True story. Right. I'll know it as soon as I see it. Yeah, I can't really eat oysters. They don't make I me didn't. Me. I let him do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, pens are down, looking for answers, starting with Lawn. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Uh, <laughs> I love that quote. Mr. Andrego. I have zero idea. Oh, <laughs> you need a little more whimsy in your life then, sir. Uh, Jonathan. Uh, that might work in Aramaic. No, it is <laughs> rodents of unusual size. All right. We've got... Are uh, you going to ask another question? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, the Harris brothers oh. with a clean sweep that. there. They're now up 9-7, Pit <coughs> Boss. 9-7 indeed. Next question from movie release dates. Hmm. Crocodile Dundee was released in what year? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, that's not a nine. <laughs> this is a nine. That's, that's definitely a quote from the movie. Uh, key year of my life. Five, four, three, two, one. 1990? Francis from Mark. 1987? Incorrect, Jonathan. Put 1987. Incorrect as well. Mr. I also Jeff. put 1987. Whoa. 1986. That is right. We have the answer. Mm. Okay. Just think of the New York Mets winning the World Series. Okay. You'll get all That's the how I did it, Ken. Uh, you got exactly it. That's exactly how right I did it. <laughs> Seventh question comes in the category of horror slash thriller. Horror slash thriller. How many films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise were directed by Wes Craven? Uh, how bad are your Johnny, because I, I get scared easily. I don't watch these movies. I'm more of a day terror kind of person. Yeah, I'm actually awake and have my own thoughts that might yeah, escape me. I enjoy a good night sweat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We are at five. <laughs> I'll four, say four. Three, 
two, one. All right, pens are down. Looking for answers, starting with Jonathan. I believe he did a later one, so is the answer two? That's correct. Mm. Dose two. All right, Jeff. I also had two. Harris Brothers up. Two. Two. All right, everyone got that answer right. Mm. Nice right. I was not nice even close. Yeah. All right, Harris Brothers up 12-9. Moving on to a Patreon question. Thank you to Jonathan Peck for supporting Thank you, the Jonathan show. Peck. And this is his question in the category of 80s movies. All right, and Moron, we should note, has a perfect round so far. Absolutely. Here it is. Name two of the three leading actresses in this 1987 dark comedy, The Witches of Eastwick. Mm, all right. Let's bring it back to this year that everyone seems to love here. Yeah, not Crocodile Dundee, though. Answer starting with Jeff. We've got Susan Sarandon and Cher. That is correct. That is mm. correct. All right. Lawn for a perfect round. I have Michelle Pfeiffer and Susan Sarandon. Ding, 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 ding. A perfect And I round. had Michelle Pfeiffer. My and that was a guess. I didn't oh, know who else to put, though. Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh. Put them all down <coughs> there. And uh, this would work if uh, gender was non binary. Uh, <laughs> Angelica Houston and Jack Nicholson uh, plus. Uh, that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> to be fair, right there. my if? favorite answer though. If? So I would like to just say that there are m multiple genders. I take it back. All right, so That's that fine. means right there, impressive first round, really for all teams. <coughs> 11, Johnny, it is close. <coughs> we do have a perfect round, a perfect round. This is a question Very for, nice. for Mr. Lon Harris. He does not have to write it down. Uh, he's all who apparently is not the smarter uh, brother, he has this question. The rest as said by everybody in the last match. There, Lon. Jonah Hill received his first Academy Award nomination for which film? I want to say the film is Moneyball. You are, well, you correct. are correct. A perfect yeah. round and a bonus. And a bonus 14 to 11, Johnny. What do you think about that first round? I got to say the Harris brothers, they were put together I don't like kissing feet. by an injury it's to nasty. JTE, yeah. but they they have the connection. They're dominating. It may, it may be uh, put together They have by God, uh, the rainbow uh, connection. Ah, a Muppet that gag. Know, that Muppet's monologue. still uh, on the stage. Uh, a very competitive game so far. We would expect nothing less, and we're heading into round two. Round two works like this as the wheel comes out, and RB3 gets his beautiful shot framed around this wheel. We, uh, each team's going to spin. They do I was never informed spin. if that was my Patreon wedge in, in the Bibiani Roka match. I'm still going to assume that it was, because animated was a category that I had picked. So. But a bonus choice. Never did find out. Shots there. We'll uh, find out eventually if it never shows up again. Back to coughing, already in progress. The teams. Pay attention. You could steal now. If you uh, attempt to steal and they haven't asked for multiple choice, you do not get multiple choice yourself. JT rules are still on. That's the actually reminder. Use them though. So. Uh, the wheels for today's match is sponsored by our Schmodown patron, Emmanuel Ibanez, on patreon.com slash Schmodown. Emmanuel, thank you for your support. The sponsored wheel slices for today's matches, Johnny, are... 80s and sports. Ooh, mm. 80s and sports. I like that mix. And crime and movies is on there. Like We've today's not seen matches. crime movies uh, by our patron, picked in a very, uh, very long time. And, uh, that sponsored wheel I think the last time crime movies got taken is when Tim Franco Disney took it over All a year right. ago. I've been talking a lot I can't Sorry, recall last time. Uh, Crime movies ready got for picked. Round two. We are ready. So I'm guessing they've got right. plenty of crime so movies. Brothers, you are in the lead, 14 11. You have a choice to spin first or defer your spins. Let's spin first. They're going to put the pressure on and go first. Jonathan is going to saunter right. on. When you got a lead, you should go first. Well, as you know, yeah, some of these portions of the wheel can do it. I'm going to guess they they're going spin. to avoid Disney films. Fact, uh, it's not something I would think they know. It was done in by a Julia Roberts yes. category. Yes, Julia in Roberts. Basic, take the cannoli. All right, we have got the, oh, it is Whoa. looking like, oh, oh, new releases. Do you guys want to stick with it or spin again? New as of 1961. <laughs> uh, <laughs> give it one more spin. One more spin, one more I spin. Lawn, the veteran of the game, spin again, sir. Spin again. And, and he didn't spin from the pegs. Second match in and he already knows. That's a very smart person. It's coming down to oh. Quentin, Taryn, yeah. T, 
Tarantino. Name one of Quentin Tarantino's eight movies. All right, ding, ding, ding. Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino, almost Jodie Foster, but it stops on Tarantino. The Harris Brothers get six questions. I'll be administering these questions. Johnny, you'll have the questions for the odd couple. Number steals are in play. 14-11 is the count of the game right now. Six questions. First one in Inglorious Bastards. What were the bastards instructed to collect from the Nazis? The scouts? That is correct for two points. Two points coming on down here. Nazis! All right. We don't like Nazis. <laughs> Question Nazis. two. Question two. We Who hate plays Nazis. Django's first slave owner, Old Man Kurrican, in Django Unchained. Four on the answer. Five, four, three. Two. You do multiple choice? You can. A, Robert De Niro. B, Bruce Dern. C, Don Johnson. D, James Ramar. Don Johnson? That's incorrect Ooh. for a possible choice. James clue. Ramar. That's incorrect. We're that looking for. No, that's Bruce. not right. That's I have James Bruce Ramar. Dern here and Bruce Dern here. This is, these are the guys on the chain gang? He pl James Ramar plays two roles. Did you know that? We can guess incorrectly again. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not challenging that we got it right. You're challenging that you got it wrong. Yeah. Who, who, do you ha who are you saying the answer is? Uh, Bruce Dern, sir. Bruce Dern is what I have here. That's so not when he's being taken yeah, no, in initially. Flashback, I still thought it was Don Johnson. All right, after some debate, Roxy, the manager, getting in there. They've decided not to challenge, not to challenge. We have uh, an incorrect question on the board there. Uh, so Don't look at me. You're looking at the wrong person when it comes to Tarantino movies or for the movies, in the category period. Who plays the last man standing of the crew in Reservoir Dogs? Steve Buscemi? That's correct for two points. Pink, Mr. Pink. I've at least heard that name. Fourth question. Fourth question. In the Kill Bill film, which member of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad had the code name California Mountain Snake? Daryl Hannah? That's correct for two more points there. Wow. Two more points. Fifth question out of six. In Pulp Fiction. What make of car do Vincent and Mia sit inside at Jack Rabbit Slim's? Five, four, three. Uh, I believe it's a 57 Chevy. That is incorrect. No, uh, we don't, I don't know. You? No. A 69 fuck you? No, nope, that is uh, <laughs> no. Nope. That is a. Uh, a move I tried on my first wedding night, which is why I'm not married anymore. But uh, it <laughs> the answer was Chrysler. We're looking for a Chrysler. All right, next question. Final question in this round. Final question in this round. Six, six. Which controversial, ultra-violent Oliver Stone movie was based on a story by Quentin Tarantino? I believe the film is Natural Born Killer. Why don't you give him more that clues, Ken? That is correct. All right, all right. We've got the odd couple up now. Who is going to spin the wheel? Come on, Jeff. Got Have some I fun. His name is Mr. Pink. You're a Muppet. <laughs> Only refer to him as Mr. Pink. All right, spin coming in, sir. Mr. Pink making the spin. All right, good spin, good spin, good form. Jeff be like, don't tell me what to do. Well. He's got a good pose going. Yeah, very strong. Hand on the hips. Good pose. It's not coming down, though. It is. Uh-oh. Oh. You right. have paid for your I lack of fun. It could have been any worse right now. The Harris All Brothers right. get the choice. Harris Brothers get a choice here. We're going to need what you want to decide here. I mean, she's <laughs> I mean uh, it, it gives us no pleasure to kick someone when they're down, but I think uh, sports movies. Sports is movies right. is the category, sir. Sports movie it Maybe is. Maybe that'll be easy. Mark and Draco. I forgot I played more varsity sports than everyone in this room. Oh, Snyder saying he lettered 
But did you I watch any of them? And I've slept with more high school football players. <laughs> this might Ooh. be true, sir. Ken, please <laughs> answer all school. questions are varsity water polo mm. related. Jeez. All right, order, order. All right, you're going to have six questions. Oh, this, this match just, just went dark. Mr. Johnny LaQuasto. Here we go. Question number one. Who played washed-up golf pro Roy McAvoy in Tin Cup? Kevin Costner. Roy McAvoy. Not Roy McElroy. That's correct for two points. That is yes. correct. For two People points. always get it mixed up. Roy McAvoy, Rory McIlroy, man, it just. What is the result just... of the at bat when Jake Taylor mimics Babe Ruth's famous called? Oh, he bunted. That was one of the funniest things. He tricked them. The ultimate trick job. A, home run. B, strikeout. C, a bunt. Or D, foul ball. What? He bunted. Because that was the whole thing. Get get him. To think something, and then you tricked them. Right. Did the old Tennessee shim sham? Can you repeat the question, please? Sure can. A. Oh, the question. In Major League, what is the result of the at bats when Jake Taylor mimics Babe Ruth's famous called shot? You don't know this? B. That Incorrect. Is a, I thought a, this was like run. one of the most memorable D moments in the movie. C. Bunt. At least I thought it was. It's the it's the scene I always remember. In five, four, three. Home run. Incorrect. Looking for a bunt. Oh. A bunt. Oh, a yeah, bunt. little switcheroo oh. from Jake. Yes, yes. that was the point. He tricked them. All right, no points are lost. No points are lost. Twenty-two, thirteen. Third question. There we go. Who plays head football coach Harold Jones in the two thousand three sports drama Radio? Never heard of it. Multiple choice. A. Chris Cooper. B. Ed O'Neill. Not Ed O'Neill. That's Little Ryan Giants. Goodman, D. Ed Harris. <coughs> sure. A. Chris Cooper. B. Ed O'Neill. I'll say Chris Cooper. D. John Goodman. D. Ed Harris. I'm doing a this thing with my mouth full here. I can't show five. A. Incorrect. Chris I'd be wrong. Ed O'Neill, John Goodman, Ed Harris. I believe it's Ed Harris. That's correct for a steal one point. Mm. All right. Big steal there. Next question. Keanu Reeves played two quarterbacks in two unrelated movies that went to the same college. What university did he play for? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously. Multiple choice. A, Miami. <laughs> B, Penn State. C, Virginia Tech, D, Ohio State. It's probably Ohio State. There's a lot of movies about Ohio State. No Just idea. Ohio in general. Five. Ohio State. That's correct for a point. Hey. Ohio, Ohio. Coming back to help. Oh, wait. There. Next question. What 90s baseball oh, film thank you. Freddie Prince Jr. and Jessica Biel? Summer Cash. That's correct for two points. Okay. Two points. Two points. Needless to say, this is a pretty important question. 2016, final question coming down here. Here we go. In the pro shop in Caddyshack, Rodney Dangerfield says, You buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free blank. You buy a hat like this, I'll bet you'll get a free bowl of soup. Multiple choice. Bowl of soup. A, box of tea. Bowl of soup. B, bowl of soup. C, golf lesson. D, club sandwich. No respect. Club sandwich? Incorrect. Box of teas, bowl of soup, golf lesson, club sandwich. I think it's bowl of soup. That is correct for one point. Oh. <coughs> All right. We have come to the end of round two. You Johnny must respect Mr. Rodney Dangerfield. 16. That's the whole point. All right, should we move on to round no. three? Oh, round three, Mr. Snyder, round three will work like this. You will get questions that uh, are two, three, and five point questions based on the numbers that you decide. Fate is in your hands. This match is kind of pulled away uh, for uh, the Harris have, brothers. Uh, That's not something I would have expected. Have all three. 24-16 going into this final round. So we will start taking the numbers, starting with three from the Harris brothers. Your choices are one through 20. Eight, 11, and 15. 
eight, eleven, and evens and odds. Interesting strategy. Two, four, and six. Two, okay. four. They kept it simple. Six is where we're going. You also uh, will have to decide before these questions two and three which one of you will answer them after I uh, unveil the uh, category here. The uh, category of doom. The odd couple, sir. I'd be honored. All right, we have got uh, the uh, first category is. Oh, he took the wig off. He don't want to be a Muppet no more. Two modern classics. He's a man. He's a man. He's forty. I'll take it. Mark Andrek is going to take a two-point question from Johnny. This is films from 1929 on, right? <laughs> what is the name of the special kick that Daniel learns in the Karate Kid? The crane. That is correct. That is correct for two <laughs> points. Crane kick indeed. They do need to get the all three of the questions. There is pressure on here. So if they miss one, the game would be over. We have the next one, Johnny. Uh, they chose the number four. That is in the category of DiCaprio coming to you. Jeff, Leo DiCaprio, three-point question coming from Johnny. All right. Who plays DiCaprio's wife, Mal, in Inception? Marion Cotillard. You got Three it. Three points are still alive. They are okay. still alive. All right. We are coming down, Johnny, potentially the final question of the game. Unless uh, the odd couple hits it, they'll push it back mm -hmm. to the odd couple. But if they lose, it would be a TKO victory for the Harris brothers. I, I want to see him get it six, right. Johnny, I want, I want the match is. to get interesting. Here we go. It's fantasy sci-fi. You can hmm. confer. All right. Which Academy Award winning actress played Major Rebecca Childs in the science fiction adventure The Core? Hillary Swank. You got That's it. correct. Five Whew. points. Sorry, he didn't even confer. He was like, I don't need you, Jeff. Five points. It's 26, 24. Very good. All right. We How have Swank. got She's uh, girl, you know. Away. Again, guys, uh, you get to choose who answers. What is that? Or uh, you guys chose first. <laughs> wow. Eight. The number eight. That category for your two-point question will be war movies. War movies. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Uh-huh. Take a two-point question, Captain. Thank you all, y'all. Colonel Nicholson in the war film *The Bridge on the River Kwai*. Alec Guinness. That's correct. For two points to tie the game. Tie the game. Very impressive, John. This right here, a hard victory, or they could swing and a miss. That's a baseball reference, Johnny. And we go. They chose the number eleven. Lawn is going to get this question. It is in. Biopics, biopics, three-point question. Do you know your what biography Eastern pictures? European country did the 2002 film The Pianist take place? I believe it's in Poland. And your winner! <laughs> Great, that's a brilliant performance. Uh, the, 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 the man Muppet is, is gone. He, he ran away. He, I guess he had a mirror to look into. See uh, Jim Parsons in his reflection. Three matches in a row. They're moving on to the final. Four. Absolutely. You know, 29-26 is a great match. That is a a punch for punch battle there. Even in the second round, when you saw the the odd couple get scored. I think we'll have to start calling them Super Dynamite Awesome Platinum Bros. That's a reference to something. Bonus points if you know what it's from. Super Awesome Dynamite Platinum Bros. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here with The Odd Couple. Guys, uh, Mark, you're visibly upset right now. Um, that was an amazing round three you guys put up there. It's just the wheel. They, no, this, uh, the Lon and his brother played, played very well. My, my frustrations have nothing to do with them. They were exemplary teammates. They played well. They deserved a win. I'm not going to get into it. A loss is a loss. I'll move on. It's just, it's, it's just very disappointing and frustrating. I see you adding, you know, your head nods over here, uh, Snyder. Yeah, no, Mark took the words out of my mouth. John Lon played great. Uh, they deserve the victory. Hats off to him. Wig's off, too. The wig is way off. The wig's not coming back. That's bad luck, that wig. Oh, Roxy, <laughs> I saw you cheering him on from uh, off to the side. I mean, 
You look heartbroken right now. Honestly, I'm not heartbroken. I'm really proud of these guys. I think that they played the best game they could. They didn't give up. And at the end there, to hit our two, our three, and our five, th that's nothing short of impressive. We just, at that point, we had spun opponent's choice. And sports movie is not our, our strong suit. And there was a little bit of disparity between the questions, which happens all the time here. Uh, and you can't be a sore loser. We lost fair and square. That's true. And I'm really proud of them. They did everything they could today. Yeah, guys, I, I don't think that today's loss takes anything away from the run that you guys had in this tournament at all. W once again, I, I, uh, congratulations to Alon and his brother. They were really great, and it's always fun to see new people in this. I, John. Uh, John. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I've been marsha, marsha, marshaling John's bro <laughs> uh, Alon's brother. Um, it, it's, ju it's just frustrating because these things do happen, and when they happen to you, you can't help but get frustrated because when you see other they happen to other people, you're like, oh, maybe that wasn't that big of a deal. And there's going to be some disparity no matter what. It just felt a little... Un uneven. Yeah. So, but what can you do? It's a game. You Life got Kevin Costner real important things for the team. It's like they say, yeah, about, so. absolutely. You win that's by the wheel, you die by the wheel. Get. I'm and sorry, guys. But that's when you spin something that's not that was the easiest house. question in the entire match. As far as I'm concerned. That happens. All right, guys. Well, thank Just you so much. That. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll see you back again here soon after the. That tournament. was a softball for me. Thanks, Jen. And I don't know. And we're back with the Harris brothers, guys. Wait, what did you scalp a Muppet? What is happening right now? I'm just a huge <laughs> fan of Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, and I think one of the members is here, so I'm yeah. hoping to meet them later. I didn't even understand that reference, but okay. The, the Muppet Show band. They're, they're, you know, the guy with the big top hat, gold teeth. No, nothing. We're, we're old. We're very old, the Harris. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I apologize. Oh. Guys, that was a really, really impressive match you guys just put well, on thank you, there. yes. Hitting round two, Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Uh, you saw them get a little bit upset and a little flustered. Do you think that that they carried into their round two with them? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we feel like Jean-Paul Belmondo in Breathless, and they feel like Jean-Paul Belmondo in Pierrot Le Faux. Mm. That's all there is to that say about it. Fine comparison, yes. On point, sir. <laughs> I just don't think that this interview can get any weirder, and then it does. So, guys, <laughs> obviously now, having moved past the odd couple, you're going to be either facing corruption or... Who's the boss? Yes. Do you guys have a preference? I, uh, you know, I don't think we've properly studied all of these teams as we will in preparation this coming week. Without going through all of our extensive files, I, I think we're ready to face whoever comes down the pike next. I plan to pull up a microfiche of both teams mm. and study them yes. uh, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'll pre pre prepare a little presentation. Oh, yes, a, a diorama. Perhaps. Yeah, so the press, we could sort of lecture and share with one another, get mm. a board in. Yeah. Lovely. Hmm. Yeah, back to you guys. All right, there you heard, Johnny. Both teams, obviously, you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be upset. You're going to be happy. The Harris brothers are happy. They're looking to be next. fair. Snyder's Jen, if, if you're ever confused about an interview, whenever it's oh, over, just give the big thumbs up. Rules, Johnny. We just uh, do our best to enforce the That's when they'll know uh, that interview's uh, over. I, I, a lot of props to Jen Serger. always stand with these people. <laughs> with and, and Draco, I love Mark and Draco. Yes. Uh, I know he was a little upset, too, but that's the way it crumbles here. Uh, the cookie, as it were, and I like cookies. I like a lot of cookies. <laughs> we know you love cookies. But the Harris brothers, yeah. moving on to the finals, they're going to face the winner of Corruption and the team of Riley and Bateman. I'm a big Riley fan. Bateman, well, he'll be there, too. Ah, uh, he'll be there as well. You know, I don't have, uh, you know, I know we're going to win. I, I, I don't want to, but I, I'm really looking forward to face the Harris brothers. It'll be a good challenge for Chance and Mike for us to overcome on our way to the championship. All right, that is the match today. Anarchy keeps on going. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you do that thing where you like, you share, you leave a comment, let the world know about it. If you want to pop on over to the Patreon page and consider supporting, go to patreon.com slash schmodown. You get exclusives like a live stream with me, Johnny. I got to sit and eat a sandwich while talking directly to the fans. A lot of things like that. And matches. Yeah, that including what me. Was? It was a turkey sandwich, and I was in love from the first bite. So Unbelievable. Johnny, thanks for, uh, and he even said that was great. I actually, in I think the Q&A. Turkey that we sandwich. Had Q &A. We may not always get along. We may not always see eye to eye. But thanks, Brooke and Vale. We found that out. Next time here on the Movie Trivia Schmoda. After credit scene, up oh, solitaire. Who plays solitaire right. anymore? What's up, buddy? Hi, how you doing, my friend? It's me, it's dear friend. friend. I feel like we haven't seen each other so long. Yeah, What's I thought bit? I thought we thought we weren't doing this anymore. What, we, you, what are you talking about? We're having a great time. We're going out to barbecues together. We were taking the kids together for walking the park. We don't have any kids. I'm thinking long term. I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, and so far this this tournament's far. Oh boy, am I right? Oh boy. 
little joke, little joke for the fans. Uh, anyway, so I got something for you. What are you working on? What are you working on? Uh, just, you know, just uh, working on the, the Schmodown card. Just Spectacular. Talk. Yes. Spectacular. I got something for you. Star Wars. Open spot, right? Yeah. Same way, where happens? Same way, where? Off he went. Yeah, yeah. No, I, Off he went. went. Yeah. Open spot, right? Uh, Alex, Alex does not have anyone to defend himself. Let me stop you right there. I got someone for you. You you got Hidalgo? Who? No, I ain't got Hidalgo. Baloney? No. Favreau? No. Who? Napsok. What? No, 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 no. What are you saying? I'm I'm saying. Was that no, 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 no? He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. It's good times. Napsok. He's going to be perfect for it, my friend. He's going to be great. Don't he retire? You're going to be look like. Hey, Sonny, you retire. You're the savior. No, 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 no. They're going to hate me. Look at 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 me. We're back like we're right. in the swing of things here, my friend. All right, my friend. I'm gonna get out of here. Does it sounds good? You gotta get work it down? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Do you want me to leave the door open? You know, things happen behind this door here, so close it? Yeah. All right, fine. Friend, hey. Great to see you again, pal. <laughs> Thank you. Mike and Thad for the brilliant 10 out of 10 promo. So apparently Ken Napsok just came out of retirement and is just going to, you know, play in a Star Wars match again. Thought he was done. Thought they made that clear. But, oh well, he's going to play. Alex Damon's going to be there. Boy, he's going to be in for a surprise. Um, but to the match in general. Um... A great showing by both teams. Uh, obviously, one team had to win. One team had to come out uh, on the losing end. But the Harris Bros, Harris Brothers, Juan, John, Devon, Levon, Le'Veon, uh, Engelbert, Humperdinck, all, all the above. Um, they come out on top, and they advance, and they eliminate the odd couple, and we are left with two more odd couples uh, left to face the Harris Brothers. So... We'll just call them the odd couples now because there's tons of odd couples in this uh, tournament. So, uh, who are the Harris brothers going to play? Well, we'll find that out uh, this Friday, I believe. At least I think so, uh, unless they've changed everything up on us. So, who's the boss corruption? Uh, going to be very interesting to see uh, who will come out on top. Both of those teams played very well uh, in their last matches. Uh, it's good. Very hard to pick a winner there as of right now, but uh, we'll find out what happens when that match uh, happens because, yeah, that sounds uh, perfect. Uh, so with that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Watch their content first. It is the right thing to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe to their content, and do the same with mine if you choose. You don't have to, but it just it makes me feel good. Follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1. Follow the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Twitter page at The Schmodown. Follow the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. Join the Patreon page if you can. And as of November 1st, which is going to be in two days, um, they have announced that they are going to launch an official Movie Trivia Schmodown website that will have all the information, all the data involving Schmodown that you can possibly think of. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they come up with and what they have to offer. So big thumb up there. Uh, I would give two thumbs up, but I, I'm holding a, a doink. So, um, yeah, so we'll see you on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or whenever you choose to ever uh, watch one of my reactions. I'm thankful for it. Um, this is JTH. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will bid you adieu.